It's blood drive day at school. Ethan isn't happy because he has a major fear of needles. Vinny, on the other hand, is very excited when he sees the hot nurses that are drawing the blood. On the other end, poor vampire babysitter Sarah is having issues composing herself due to the amount of blood in the area, so she's coping by stuffing her face with potato chips. And Erica, of course, having no qualms about drinking blood, has volunteered as a helper for the drive to go closer to the stash, and is shaming Sarah for not partaking. Erica overhears the head nurse tell helper nurse Annie to man the drive while she loads the truck. Hearing that there's a truck full of blood, Erica gets excited and gets a mischievous idea. The guys see Rory hovering around the area and decide that Erica's pulling his strings to do her dirty work. This belief is proven correct when they put a tracker on him. They spy on Rory and Erica as he's explaining his plan to help her break into the blood truck. Later, Ethan decides to man up and do what he promised to do and give blood. As Nurse Annie grabs his arm to prepare him, he gets a vision of her as a vampire. This won't hurt a bit. Relax. I don't bite. Promise? At the same time, Rory and Erica break into the blood truck and are caught by the head nurse. Erica goes to threaten her by showing her fangs just to be flashed right back by the head nurse, who then threatens retaliation by the vampire council and locks them in the truck. What's going on here? Back off, sweetie, or these blood bags won't be the only things getting drained. <laughs> Not exactly the reaction I was going for. You're a nurse, so you know what these little babies can do to a jugular. Oh. Wait till you see what happens when those babies are all grown up. She's one of us? Oh, could not expect that. Oh. You have broken one of our oldest laws. Trying to steal food from your own kind? The council will make sure you pay for this. Like a vampire fine? Just give the ticket to Pasty Face here. I'm sure he's good huh? for it. Not me. Hi! The head nurse shows up back at the school and grabs Nurse Annie to tell her that they have to go. They leave before Ethan's blood can be drawn. This disappoints Annie as she seems to really enjoy the smell of his blood. Ethan then tells Sarah about Eric and Rory's plan after Benny called him to let him know what was happening and they show up just in time to see the blood van drive off. The nurses arrive at a warehouse and argue about what they should do about Rory and Erica when Benny, Ethan, and Sarah arrive. A fight ensues between them, fangs blaring, and Sarah is exposed as not being as powerful as the other vampires, being that she's never fed. You're not a real vampire yet. By the way, you smell like junk food. I catch my breath? You are so dead! When Ethan gets the upper hand on the head nurse, she gets a whiff of Ethan's blood and informs him that his blood is one in a million and very valuable to vampires. They strike a deal that they get a pint of his blood in exchange for her friend's safety and then leaving town. Ethan lets her know that the only person that he will trust drawing his blood is Sarah. After Sarah draws the blood and gives it to the nurses, they leave town and the crew go back to their lives. The episode ends with a revelation that Erica left fully stocked with a refrigerator full of blood that she's enjoying. Come to mama. Come on, let me in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to know when I update and check out the channel playlist, which I regularly update with free vampire media featuring female bloodsuckers available on YouTube.